Hey y'all, how are you? Welcome back, Jackson and Haskell here. Uh, back again, which I'm super excited for. So the quick announcement is that the video coming after is on the 13th. Um, I'm talking about our next Let's Talk War, which will be Spiral, the book I saw. Which is really cool. I'm really excited to cover that. It's coming on the 13th. That this video on 12th, which I'm filming right now. Talk about Sea World first part, which is a sea of power and port of entry. I know I originally just said port of entry, but there's really not a lot there, which is cool. Um, not really to talk about <coughs> restaurants because it's kind of tough to tell a map what area is it part of, unless it's like stated. And yeah, the quick announcement too is that the next part of SeaWorld uh, will be coming on January 20th, the day after my birthday, uh, which is cool. Um, we're going to be covering uh, probably Sea of Shallows, I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I Sea of Shallows, which is really cool. I really hope you all enjoy it. And here we go. Like I said, I'm not really gonna have restaurants and shops because it's just tough telling. But let's talk about the areas and attractions and the port of entry and um, Sea of Power. So the port of entry is like the main entrance way, which is cool. Um, so the main entrance features a Florida inspired theme with tropical landscaping and a cool and a fresh, large artificial freshwater marina with a Shamu theme lighthouse. Shamu is, if you don't know, is a famous orca, which is cool. And just kind of a description of Sea Power. Uh, sea Power is a host of killer whale shows. Uh, Shamu Stadium is located center with the wild. Arctic Pavilion next door, and that will be in a different video. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry, Wild Arctic Pavilion is it's an indoor area featuring blue whales, Pacific walruses, harbor seals, and formerly polar bears. Uh, Shamu theme hosts orca encounters, which is cool. And like I said, the Shia Shells. Will be the next area we're going to be covering. And it will probably be uh, Sea of Mystery or Sea of Light, one of those two, and some others. So let's talk about attractions in Sea of um, these two areas. Sea of Power, you have a coast pipeline surf coaster, which is open actually this year, in 2023. Which is really cool. Um, it will be really good uh, to see it. Um, also, so that's the only one actually in this area. I um I thought the Sea of Arctic was, but, but yeah, you never know. Oh, here we go. Um, sea of Power is also Wild Arctic, which opened in 1995. They've updated and supposed to be like research station in um, the Arctic Ocean, which is cool. Um, also, in Sea of Power, as I mentioned, is Shimano Stadium, um, opened in 1994. Also, Shimu Sea, we have Bayside uh, Stadium, which formerly hosted water skiing and Park Central Lagoon. Numerous uh, concerts now, uh, other stuff, which is cool. Um, that's kind of it for attractions wise. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and the next area I said we're going to be covering on the 20th uh, was Sea of Powers. Sorry, um, Sea of Shallow, which is really cool. I'm super excited. 
and the goal would be to cover two to three areas per month so we can finish this by March, ideally. Um, and like I said, the video coming after is on the 14th, 13th. We're talking about Spiral Book of Saw, and I really hope y'all enjoy. Bye bye.